Unified School District Board of Education meeting is called to order. Today is Thursday, January 23rd, 2022. The time is 5.30. Welcome, everyone. Mrs. Medina, can you please take roll call attendance of board members present? Board Member Haro? Board Member Ibarra? Present. Board Member Fuentes? Present. Board Member Mrs. Flores? Present. Okay, we're going to begin today's meeting as we do every meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, Dr. Ortiz, can you please lead us in the flag salute? Please? Right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Dr. Ortiz. We have an, uh, an, an interpreter present who is available for Spanish speaking persons who need assistance. Ms. Uh, Abigail Valdez is in the back over here. Okay, okay. so we're going to um, begin by moving on to 1.3. I need a motion to adopt the agenda with the following amendments. Amend action item 3.35, approval of conference attendance, removal of one conference attendance, yearbook camp, revised conference total is 20,845.85. Amend action item 3.36, approval of personnel employment and resignation separations, addition of two classified regular staff, to custodians. Amend closed session item 9.4, personnel public employee. Addition of seven certificated coaches, head junior varsity soccer girls, head varsity soccer girls three, head varsity soccer boys one, head varsity wrestling boys one, head fresh soft football boys one. Addition of 14 classified coaches, head varsity basketball boys one, Head Varsity Cheer, Co-Ed 1. Head Junior Varsity Volleyball Girls, 2. Varsity Football Assistant Boys, 2. Head Junior Varsity Football Boys, 1. Frosh Soft Football, football assistant, assistant Boys, 2. Head Junior Varsity Wrestling, Co-Ed 1. Junior Varsity Football Assistant Boys, 1. Head Varsity Wrestling, Co-Ed 1. Pep Squad Assistant, Co-Ed 1. Football Boys, 1. And we have addition, uh, an addition of two volunteer coaches, cross country co-ed one and volleyball girls one. Okay. I need a motion. So moved. Okay. I'll second it. Okay. I have a motion by board member Haro, second by board member Fuentes to, the, to adopt the agenda as recommended. Uh, can we have a roll, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, we're, all those in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Okay. On motion by board member Haro and board member Fuentes, the board adopted the agenda as recommended. Moving on to public comment, item 2.1. Um, we, uh, the board bylaw states that individual speakers shall be allowed three minutes to address the board on each agenda on or non-agenda item. The board shall limit the total time for public input on each item to 15 minutes. With board consent, the president may increase or decrease the time allowed for public presentation depending on the topic and the number of persons wishing to be heard. The president may take a poll of speakers for or against a particular issue and may ask the additional person speak only if they have something new to add. Do we have any board uh, comment, any uh, public comments? No comments. Okay. Moving on to 3.0 action session items. Items 3.1 through 3.44. Um, does anybody want to pull an item to, for separate vote? Okay. Uh, I need uh, a motion to approve action items 3.1 through 3.44. So moved. Okay, Mr. Fuentes. And a second? Second. By Mr. Ibarra. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Nay. 
on motion by board member Fuentes and board member Ibarra and carried on a 4-0 vote. The board approved action items 3.1 through 3.44. Okay. Okay, item 4.1, adoption of resolution number 2248, CFD no number two, establishing the annual special tax levy for fiscal year 2022-23 for community facilities district number two. Okay, we are now opening the CFD num number two meeting. Uh, for the following action item, the board will be acting as a legislative body of community facilities district number two. I need a motion to approve CFD number two, item 4.1. I'll make the motion. And a second. second. Okay. Okay, I have a motion by uh, myself, uh, board member Flores, and second by board member Fuentes to approve CFD no, number two, item 4.1, as presented. Um, Joanne, can we have a roll call vote? Board member Ibarra? Yes. Board member Haro? Board member Fuentes? Yes. Board member Ms. Flores? Yes. Thank you. On motion of uh, board member Flores and board member Fuentes and carried on a 4-0 vote. And we have three members absent. The board approved CFD number two, item 4.1 as presented. Okay, we're adjourning this. Um, CFD number two. Okay, now, now we are opening the uh, CFD number three meeting. For the following action item, the board will be acting as the legislative body of community facilities district number three. I need a motion to approve CFD number three. It's item 5.1. Okay, I will make a motion and I need a second. I will second. I have a motion by board member Flores and second by board member Fuentes to approve CFD number three, item 5.1 as presented. Roll call vote, please. Mr. Ibarra? Yes. Mrs. Haro? Mr. Fuentes? Yes. Mrs. Flores? Yes. On motion, uh, uh, board member Flores and board member Fuentes and carried on a 4-0 vote. The board approved CFD number three, item 5.1 as presented. We are now adjourning this meeting. For the remaining action items on the agenda, the board will be acting as the board of the Colton Joint Unified School District. Moving on to 6.0 administrative reports. Um, any board members have any questions on or comments on 6.1 or 6.2? If not, okay, moving on. Item 6.3, we do not have a facilities update. Item 6.4, we do not have uh, ACE pre uh, represent representative here. CSEA, item 6.5, we do not have a representative from CSEA. NOMAC update. Item 6.6, 6.7 ROP update. Um, I think so. Um, we did meet, but we have nothing to report. Okay, very good. 7.0, superintendents communicate. <laughs> good evening to uh, board president Flores, board members and members of the audience, executive cabinet, and people out there in uh, virtual land listening. Uh, good evening. Uh, and I just have one one slide this evening, just can keep it really short. I did want to uh, give a really a shout out to uh, what's gonna be happening pretty soon here on Saturday, July 30th. It's gonna be our CGSD launch day for 2022. 
Uh, and this is going to be for all our Colton Joint Unified uh, employees. Uh, we'll be invited for uh, Saturday, uh, July 30th. It's going to be our first ever uh, design plan summer launch. And so we're really excited. In fact, uh, we have Director Murphy in the audience who's been planning this out. So I want to make sure I acknowledge the, a lot of the work that's being done for this, uh, I think, uh, monumental day in our district. Uh, this event is going to include, uh, as I stated, all employees, classified certificated management. We're inviting all our employees, our schools, we're inviting our board, our union uh, partners. Uh, and so all the departments uh, we're asking to be represented here. It doesn't matter the role that you play in this district to educate our kids. It's going to be a, a, a day of learning, a day of uh, networking, a day of coming together and collaborating so that we can inform our employees, uh, and we've been doing that, about our design plan and the vision for Colton Joint Unified School District. So there's going to be uh, several presentations. Uh, even at the beginning, I'll be kicking off the presentation and with our vision, and, and then we'll have some breakout sessions for employees. And during the, the day, uh, the participants, and we hope we get uh, our most of our employees to participate, uh, we're going to be talking about the work that's been going on for the last 18 months that the board is familiar with. Again, talking about our vision, talking about our design plan, uh, and so as we bring our classified and certificate employees uh, to this date, uh, it really illustrates the importance of the work that we've been doing for the last, like I mentioned, 18 months and our commitment to improving not only our organization, uh, but the academic uh, service or the, the academics uh, and the teaching and learning piece to better serve our students' community. So. Uh, we've identified uh, our vision, the board passed a vision a year ago, uh, and through a process of inquiry, through a process of going through what we call a theory of action, uh, also we've identified three focus areas for our district, uh, and I'll start with the first one is professional learning, uh, and the second one is equity, and the last focus area in our design plan is professionalism. So the first area that we're going to start with and focus on uh, for this year in 22-23 will be uh, professional learning. And so uh, I will be working with the Executive Cabinet here shortly uh, on identifying those priority areas within professional learning that, they'll, that will be our focus. Uh, so we are just excited and thrilled and honestly passionate about the work that, that we're going to be moving forward as we launch this uh, this plan. Uh, so we, we are just looking forward to meeting with our employees, whether it's virtual, it's gonna be a hybrid uh, day, it's gonna be virtual or in person. Uh, and we have several hubs set up for people that wanna come in in person uh, that again, uh, Director Murphy has been working uh, on. Uh, so it's gonna be a great day uh, in, we look forward to seeing uh, all our employees, again, like I said, virtually or in person. So I will end with this. It really is about answering these four essential questions when, as we lead our district uh, forward in, in the next several years, is we're gonna answer these to the best of our ability and, and think we, we really have worked hard on this is, so where are we going as a district? So the vision will tell that story as the LCAP does, as the board priorities, do. Who's going with us? Everybody. We want everybody to be part of this, uh, I would say, journey, endeavor. Uh, we need everybody to be part of this. Uh, it takes not just a, you know, the saying a village to, to educate a child. Uh, it just takes a lot more nowadays, a lot more. It takes uh, now a community. It takes uh, a committed organization, a passion to do what we do. So we need everybody to be part of this. Why are we going there? That's another question that we look forward to answering. And really the research shows that behind all high performing organizations, educational systems, uh, that if we do this, our academic achievement and the kids are gonna be better prepared for either college or career. So uh, our why is at the center of everything we do uh, in Colton Joint Unified. Uh, and so again, 
How are we going to get there? We're going to get there because we have a plan. So it's not just a wish. Uh, we have a plan. We're excited about it. And we look forward to, again, uh, seeing all the employees uh, Saturday, July 30th. And uh, it's going to be a great day for Colton Joint Unified. So with that, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you, Dr. Miranda. Okay, we're moving on to 8.0 board member comments. Um, board member Thoring Ojeda. Just I apologize for being late. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you a little story. Um, we talked about professionalism. Being on time is part of professionalism, my book, and I apologize. I. When you get older, you I guess you do things you don't think about. I don't wear my glasses all the time anymore. So a lot of times at home, I'll take them off, and it's no big deal if you're at home. But when you have to go to a meeting and you're looking for your glasses because you know you're gonna can't read that, <laughs> I apologize. I don't. I didn't think I should be setting up my sunglasses on, so I'm so sorry. Please don't put that in the record. <laughs> but um, I'm excited about our summer and and the changes that we're going to be making. I think that we're headed in the right direction and. Um, I just I just see really good things happening as a result of all the work that you've put into this over the past few years and can't wait to see it to fruition. So, and those of you who are here, remember you have families, you need vacation, you've worked hard, you are uh, heading towards the end, we hope, of COVID, but you've put so much work in that and I hope that you remember to take some time for your family and yourself. So enjoy, thank you, that's all. Board member Ibarra. Okay. Board member Fuentes. Thank you, board president. Just wanted to say summer is here. We can feel it. Uh, just uh, thank you to each and every one of our uh, departments that we have here in the district, uh, to our district office, to m &O, to nutrition. You guys know. You guys know that we've had a, a tough year, but you know something? It's time to relax. It's time to relax, take some time, be with your familias, be with your families, enjoy the time, you know, because we have a, a successful year coming. And uh, we have a, a DSDP design plan that's going to be implemented uh, and placed out there July 30th. We're going to launch that. Excitement's in the air. So let's get some rest. Enjoy the hot weather if you like it. I, I don't care too much for the hot weather, but... Uh, as long as I'm in an air conditioning room, uh, I'm good. But enjoy your time with your familias. Enjoy that restful, restful time. I know we have a lot of teachers still in summer school that are teaching some of our, our students. And I did get an opportunity to speak to some students actually at summer school here at Bloomington High School the other day. And they're excited. I was talking to them about, I think these were some juniors that it will be juniors next year. Uh, and they're excited because they're making up some, some credits that they needed to get done. And they're excited because they're going to pass. And uh, so it was it was great to hear the excitement for these kids. And uh, I'm always, always out there trying to see what I can do better for our, our students. And I know my colleagues do the same thing. So thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you to our parents for always, always supporting your child. Education is a key. Education is a key for everything. You know, and remember, read a book. Read a book. You know, there's a lot of great stuff out there, even if it's uh, the cat in the hat, you know, uh, read the cat in the hat. You know, those are some great tongue twister uh, books out there. Dr. Seuss, enjoy your time. Have a great summer. We'll see you back in about a month. Thank you. Board Member Sandoval. Board Member Haro. And for myself, no comment. Tonight, um, the board will be observing a moment of silence in honor of Vic Shiro, who passed away suddenly a few weeks ago. Mr. Shiro was employed by the district on August 24, 2001, and retired on June 14, 2018. He was a teacher at Bloomington High School from 2001 to, through 2006. He was then promoted to assistant principal at Colton High School, where he served from 2006 to 2018. Please join the board in observing a moment of silence in his honor.
Thank you. The board will now adjourn into closed session to discuss items listed on the closed session agenda.
back from closed session. Item 10.1, uh, on motion by board member Sandoval and second by board member Flores and carried on a 6-0 vote, the board took action to deny a claim filed by employee number 6153 on June 23, 2022. Item 10.2, on motion by board member Ibarra and second by board member Sandoval and carried on a 6-0 vote, the board took action to deny a claim filed by employee 6153 on June 23rd, 2022. It's on a 6-0 vote, yes. 10.3, student discipline. There is one student discipline item presented in closed session. Is there a motion to uphold the expulsion order as presented? Okay. Going Ojeda and... I have a motion by board member Thoring Ojeda and a second by board member Fuentes to uphold the expulsion order as presented. All those in favor say aye. Nay. On motion, uh, board member Thoring Ojeda and board member Fuentes and carry the on a 6-0 vote. The board upheld the expulsion order of the one student discipline item as presented. Number 160098. Item 10.4, in closed session on a motion by board member Fuentes and second by board member Ibarra, the board approved the following on a 6-0 uh, vote. Certificated coaches seven, the head junior varsity soccer girls, head varsity soccer girls three, head varsity soccer boys one, head varsity wrestling boys, head fast soft football boys one. Classified management, one. Classified coaches, 14. Head varsity basketball boys, one. Head varsity cheer, co-ed, one. Head junior varsity volleyball girls, two. Varsity football assistant boys, two. Head junior varsity football boys, one. Frost soft football assistant boys, two. Head junior varsity wrestling co-ed, one. Junior varsity football assistant boys, one. Head varsity wrestling co-ed, one. Pep squad assistant co-ed one, football boys one. Volunteer coaches, cross country co-ed one, and volleyball girls one. We have uh, volunteers, five. We are now adjourning at 619.